let's go read a book today. Hello, hello, my little friends. Thank you so much for joining me here on this episode of Let's Go Read a Book Today, where I, Miss Pamela, share some wonderful stories with you right here in my little reading garden. And oh, do I have a great one for you today. But first, I have to ask, do you know what time it is? It's time for Word of the Day! Hey there, my little brilliant people! I'm Miss Vocab, that's short for Miss Vocabulary, and I have the Word of the Day for you, where we learn a new word that helps you grow our vocabulary and our minds! So, our word of the day is imagination. Oh, what does that mean, you ask? Well, I'll tell you what it means. Imagination is the act or power of the mind to form a thought or picture or an image of something or someone that is not present to the senses or never before seen in reality. Oh, imagination. Hey, why don't you try and use this new word, imagination, in a sentence this week when you're talking to your parents or your friends or even your pet giraffe. <laughs> because the more you use it, you'll never lose it. I'll see you next time on the word of the day. Now, let's get back to some reading. <laughs> Thank you, Miss Vocab. And now, I am so excited to introduce a really fun new friend, little Lindy Loom, in our story today titled, A Unicorn Ate My Homework, written by Julia Incero and illustrated by Miro Tartan. Well, are you ready to read? I am. So sit back and open your minds because here comes story time. Lindy Loom loved to tell stories. The bigger, the better. She loved to tell silly stories. My little brother farted so hard, he blew his pants off. She loved to tell sad stories. Nobody would play patty cake with Sink because she was from the planet Snork and was made of slime. She loved to tell scary stories. Then the Blorg roared so loudly that his teeth exploded. Everyone loved Lindy's stories. Everyone except Lindy's teacher, Miss Pinch. There's no such place as Snork Lindy. Has anyone seen my apple? Miss Pinch asked one morning. Maybe a giraffe stuck his head in the window and grabbed it, suggested Lindy. Yeah, right, smirked Miss Pinch. A giraffe. Where are all the jump ropes? I bet a capybara took them. He's probably going to weave them into a hammock, offered Lindy. Capybaras are the largest rodent in the world, and I bet they love a good nap in the breeze. Miss Pinch sighed. I seriously doubt capybaras weave hammocks. Oh, my stars, exclaimed Miss Pinch. I left the paint right here. Where is it? Ooh, what if a family of anteaters tromped in and drank all the paints? Maybe they thought it was a juice bar. Or maybe Dominic hit them. Asked Miss Pinch. Okay, everyone, grab a ruler. Who can tell me what we use rulers for? 
Lindy smiled. I heard a rumor that chickens desperately want to go to the moon. Maybe they would use rulers to build the rocket? Miss Pinch rolled her eyes. Lindy Loom, we have a problem, groaned Miss Pinch. Your imagination is too fantastical. There is no place for imagination during math class. But we use imagination in engineering and architecture and science, plus art and music, Lindy stated. Didn't you ever imagine things when you were little? Miss Pinch sighed. Uh, that was a long time ago, Lindy. Uh, let's get back to math. During science class, Dominic said, Look, everyone, the birds are eating all our mung beans. Lindy started drawing a picture of bears making mung bean jewelry. At lunchtime, Andrew muttered, I can't believe they're out of pickles. Lindy thought, I wonder if some snakes took them. Maybe they had a pickle eating contest. Lindy, you know that snakes don't like pickles, winked Miss Pinch. After lunch, it was time for music class. Miss Pinch asked, has anyone seen the sheet music? Lindy looked around, then offered, I bet a colony of bats swooped in and took them to make paper airplanes so they could rest their wings. Miss Pinch shook her head and hid a little smile. I just had the pencils, sighed Miss Pinch. Did anyone see where they went? Maybe a porcupine lost her quills, suggested Lindy. She was feeling self-conscious, so she took the pencils and a glue stick to make herself some new quills. Yes, Lindy, smiled Miss Pinch. It must have been a porcupine. Don't forget to hand in your homework before you leave today, Miss Pinch reminded everyone. Lindy didn't move. Lindy, do you have your assignment? Lindy chewed on her lip. No, I forgot it. I'm sorry. Miss Pinch looked at Lindy. You forgot it? Or maybe a unicorn ate your homework? Lindy laughed. <laughs> yes, Miss Pinch, it was Definitely a unicorn. I promise I'll bring it in tomorrow. Miss Pinch, I overheard the principal say she wanted to paint the back wall. She does. Do you have any ideas of what we could paint? Lindy smiled. Maybe porcupines with pencils, bats on paper airplanes, and a capybara in a hammock? Perfect, said Miss Pinch. I'll get us paint for tomorrow. The next day, everyone grabbed a paintbrush. It looks great, class. I love your imaginations, cheered Miss Pinch. And Lindy, don't forget to give the unicorn some fresh homework to munch on. <laughs> what a Fun story! Oh, I love little Lindy Loom! And what a fantastic.